It's a very busy intersection for both drivers and for pedestrians and happening right now, work is underway to make it safer. But to make that happen, the intersection of Monroe Drive and 10th Street is closed down. Nobody is getting through and that is a very busy intersection. So Atlanta News First Don Shipman is live with the first alert breaking news tracker. Don, the fencing is actually already up. That's right. The fencing is up. The signage is up already. I want to give you a sense of where we are right now. The high school over in that direction and then the park is right there. There's Park Tavern. 10th is right there. This is Monroe Drive, but then you look up there. That's the entrance to the Beltline, which heads into the northeast section of the trail and Pont City Market. And you know, if you've been here on a weekend, for example, you see a lot of people using that Beltline and then they're crossing over over Monroe Drive. We already see some of those pedestrians making their way on the Beltline this morning. This whole intersection closed off. Crews working on the 10th Street bike lane. That bike lane feeding into really the busiest section of the Beltline. Another key element of this project, new traffic signals at this intersection and a raised pedestrian crossing. The goal is to make this area safer for pedestrians. We'll have five connection points from the Beltline to Piedmont Park. We're excited about those areas and uh, for the connecting neighborhoods to have access to both the park and to the Beltline. So your detour routes right here, we have Canuga Street to Virginia Avenue and Charles Allen Drive to 8th Street. And then listen to this because even after this week's closure, Single lanes will start shutting down during the work week. That's from 9 until 4, and this will happen all the way up until September when the side work, sidewalk construction is complete. This area now under construction, the heavy equipment already here. It's going to be this way, closed off throughout the week. We're live here in Midtown. Don Shipman, Atlanta News First.